All right, guys, and welcome back to video number three. And we're going to be looking at the PAT topic as per your PAT document given by the department for us to complete. All right, let's see what this topic is about. Let's get excited. Okay, what are they talking about? Okay, the topic. All right, we're looking at green computing. Our role, our role in sustainable digital future. Our role in A sustainable digital future okay that's pretty cool i think it's important that we understand what green computing is and we're looking at our role that means mine yours people's role um, in sustainable which means long lasting uh, digital future okay so let's read a little bit more about this okay introduction technology so they're focusing on technology is an important part of our daily lives. And I'd agree there, guys. Come on, we all pick up our phone, we're using computers and laptops, and we're doing research and all this kind of funny stuff, okay? But have you ever thought about its impact on the environment? So let's think about this. So, sir, you're telling me when I use my phone, there's an impact on our environment? Hmm, well, your internet needs to come somewhere. They have to put up poles, they have to have a server running, they have to have uh, dial up, they have to have fiber connections, all this kind of stuff, satellites. All right, so yes, maybe there is an environment. But what about if we look at technology alone and we consider like printing? Um, that is technology that we use and we're using cartridges and we're using all kinds of things and then obviously when they deplete it when they finish those printer cartridges we throw them away and we don't always realize what um, that impact is even if we're upgrading what happens to your old cell phone what happens to your old tower case or computer case or screen um, or old tv for that matter all right so let's read on a little bit more the devices we use the electricity they consume and the way we dispose of old electronics all contribute to pollution and climate change. Hey, wasn't I knocking that right on the nail? I didn't even have to read further. But um, yes, it, 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 co it contributes to pollution. Um, and this finally lands up affecting us in the end, um, especially if there is tons and tons and tons of it. Okay, so yes, we, we, we really got to look at that. All right. As young digital citizens, we have the power to make the difference. Mm, and that is really important. Yes, we got to vote. And if we're not happy with what's happening, we can tell governments and world, uh, the world population and, and world governments that what's going on is um, not acceptable. The trick is to say, all right, now that we've got this problem, what do we do about it? You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm not reading further. I'm just mentally understanding what this project is about. Yeah, we can see some nice picture, be a part of the solution, not part of the pollution. Okay, and that's coming from environment.co.za. Okay, so we continue. Your school has been invited to participate in a national competition on green computing. Oh, that's pretty cool. So um, you have been invited or your school has been invited to participate in a national competition okay national means the whole of south africa okay we're not just looking at south africa ah sorry at the local uh local level so in other words gauteng or your little town it's a national competition on green computing where students propose practical solutions okay so they want you to think of solutions to reduce the environmental the environmental impact of that technology Okay, so quite interesting, guys. I don't know about you, but um, I've got some ideas. I mean, um, we just turf the old printer cartridge away. Is there a way that we can reduce that environmental impact um, on technology um, that's harming our environment and the disposal of it? But let's have a look what they're saying here. Right, this is green computing. Okay, so let's look what they've got here. We've got um, where we, things are getting recycled. We've got cloud computing. We've got maintenance and monitoring. We've got green disposal like bins. We've got a section on uh, maintenance and monitoring. 
efficiency of technology, um, green service, and virtualization. Okay, so these are categories, guys. Can you see that? All right, so you've got a category for green computing that could either use recycling, or you could choose a category maybe on cloud computing or uh, maintenance and monitoring. So it goes around, quite interesting. Mm, yes, so you can see that there's a large opportunity here, I think for South Africa and even creating jobs um, in these various green computing sectors. Okay, so your research will be based on the following question. Very, very important. We always got a focus question, a task definition. Guys, and if you, you need to understand and we need to research this before we can answer the questions. Right, and here's the focus question. And it says, how can we reduce the environmental impact of technology? That is the focus question. Please write that down. That's really, really important. You need to know what that is, and our project's going to be based on that, or our pet at least. Right, your task is to research, analyze, and present ways in which individuals, that's me and you, a bit bigger though, schools and companies can contribute to green computing. Right, so there's a couple of facets here that I'd like you to make note of. Let me see if I can get my draw tool out here quickly and um, just give you, there's one, individuals, two, schools, and three, which companies. So when you are analyzing and you're doing your research, consider these, okay? Individuals, the schools, sorry, I'm trying to draw you as best as possible, and uh, companies. You need to research it, individual schools and companies. You need to analyze. Have people already done this? Analyze, you, analyze it and see um, what they are doing. And then take the best of this and present it. Okay. And again, the importance is that it is contributing to green computing. It must contribute. Okay. So I would say, guys, you've got positive and you've got negative. We need to understand the negative part of the pollution, okay, of this technological pollution that's been putting into the environment, but then also come up with solutions. Okay, so it's important to plan this very, very carefully. Okay, let's carry on reading. Investigate practical solutions. So you need to investigate, guys. So this is research. So you've got the internet, you've got books, you can speak to people. Maybe you've got an uncle or auntie who's in yeah, green computer, green technologies, or you've heard of companies that adapt to green technologies, that would be quite nice. So for example, solar, guys, is that a way of reducing um, our need for electricity? Am I right if we go solar? So is there somebody who's done something in the same lines? And even solar, that could work. It's still um, uh, um, um, contributing to a greener environment but you need to remember that when the batteries on the solar panel go down we're throwing that technology away it lands up on our landfill and it affects another part um, of our environment so quite important to have a look at okay right um, investigate practical solutions to reduce the environmental impact of computing okay so that is what you need to research there investigate real world examples so you need to find some real world examples of the impact the benefits and the challenges of green computing okay um, in one of the following focus areas this is now important now guys i'm going to change my color of my pen here because these are the areas that you need to pick right so you can either look at one it's saying one of the following areas so you need to pick one here only one okay not 10 not all of them not half one the, you need to pick one area so what are the areas you've got efficient uh, energy efficient computing you've got e-waste management of electronical waste disposal we've got eco-friendly design and hardware green software development or green computing in schools okay so you need to pick one of those Okay, you're happy with that. So I'm going to leave it up there and you can just decide. So um, efficient, uh, energy efficient computing, could that be looking at power usage 
They could be looking at um, the amount of energy that a computer uses um, when we work it. What about power saving modes? That could all be in this energy efficient computing. Okay. Then e-waste management, that looks more at what happens now, like I said earlier on, when we throw things away, um, when we're disposing of them. So it could be your old cell phone, it could be an old router, it could be the computer screen you've upgraded. What do we do with it usually and where does it land up and how do we, um, you know, solve this issue? Eco-friendly design and hardware, I think, would focus on um, when they're designing new products. Are they considering eco-friendly, you know, um, components, eco-friendly uh, parts that go inside these computers and the design of that? And it doesn't just start with a computer. I don't just want you to think about computing now in this case. You know what? Um, um, it is on the impact of computing. Yes, I know it is that. But think about servers. Think about uh, server farms, uh, big data. Um, and the storage of big data, that could all be part of that design and hardware. Right, and there again, yeah, I've just touched a little bit on that green software development. Yeah, your big data comes in. Um, for example, Google, um, Instagram, Twitter, um, all these kind of things, you know, when you start looking at that software that is being developed, and now the big one is AI. Please don't forget about AI. You can even bring that in there because I'm hearing from everybody that the requirements to run AI means that we need to use a lot more electricity for these computers to work, which at the end has got a detriment to green computing. Let me draw a little line here for you guys. So yes, um, that um, has got an issue there with green computing. So when they develop, um, especially with AI, and I think I'm just gonna write here AI, AI, I know my A isn't probably not that great there, but AI um, plays quite a role with that. Okay, and then green computing in our schools. All right, so our school, when they upgrade, are they looking at disposing this correctly? You know, maybe you can get a, speak about a little panel that could look at the, you know, the, the asset of the school and how they dispose it. Um, are the computers turning off at night or do they just motor the whole way through? Um, are they turned off? Do they go to sleep? So all of that contributes to the green um, or a better planet. Okay. Use the focus area above to complete the following focus question. This question must be typed out in the space provided in your research planning document. Now in the next video, I'm going to go through that document that the department has given us and how to formulate and lay out your pack document. Um, that is provided in the resource pack. So that's important, guys, that your teachers give you that resource pack that you know where you're working in. Remember to indicate the specific focus area when you, that you have selected from the list above and edit the sentence so that it makes sense when you read it. So here is the um, focus question. Um, oh, sorry, the focus area. I do apologize. So what is the focus area? I could say, for example, what are the practical solutions in, and then I can look at you. Uh, let me pick one here quickly. Eco-friendly design of hardware to reduce the environmental, the environmental impact of technology. So can you see I'm bringing this. Let me just get a thinner pen out here, guys. Um, sorry. It's technological challenges don't we have okay so i can bring if that's the one that i wanted to do i'm going to fill that in here right and that then completes off that statement that you are seeing there so um very important but that's if i pick this one okay you've got to pick your own one that you want to work through yeah. or your own um, ideas of exactly what you want to do there okay but we need to complete um, the specific focus area and the focus question okay so that is important all right so we're going to get to that in the next video i hope you're understanding what the topic is about we are talking about green computing and the role in a sustainable digital future which is lovely guys that's quite exciting 
Um, I'm sure you can find lots of information. Um, we can we can speak to people. We can see what governments are doing and see if we can make a difference in this. That is video three, guys. See you back next time for the actual layout. And specifically, we're going to be looking at um, the resource pack um, that the department has given us and then the document where we will fill in um, our focus area and the focus question and whatever the case may be. I hope you're happy, guys. Um, Gia Bonga, thank you for visiting me. Thank you for visiting the channel. It's lovely having you here. Please give us a thumbs up or a, a like. It does help. Uh, it takes time building these, and I'm trying to help you all out. So I'd appreciate a like or two. Thanks, guys.